17 years ago, we had this Lara Croft. Seventeen years later, we now have this Lara Croft. You really want to do this, little girl? Let's just go home. Is this one good? Let's find out. What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today's review is for the brand new, the third entry in the Tomb Raider saga. We have yet another Tomb Raider movie with the character of Lara Croft, and that movie is Tomb Raider, the 2018 movie. Now, the director's name is really hard to pronounce, I will put it right here, I believe it's Roar Uthug, ah. Uh and it stars Alicia Vikander as the new Lara Croft. If you're familiar with the video games, Lara Croft's father goes missing out in this island when she was a little girl, and now she's all grown up in the real world. She finds out some secrets from her father in that this evil corporation has him trapped on the island, and they have the tomb out there that Walton Goggins' character is trying to open up. So, Laura decides to go out on an adventure, to go on a boat, go to this island, try to find out what happened to her father, and also stop this guy, Walton Goggins, and his crew from opening the tomb and bringing chaos. Now, my expectations going into this movie were very, very low, because let's be completely realistic here. Video game movies have not been good at all. I mean, there has not been one great video game movie adaptation. Some are guilty pleasures, like the Tomb Raider films with Angelina Jolie. They're not great films, but they are watchable. I mean, Angelina Jolie, she was very attractive in those films, and it's dumb, stupid fun. Watching the trailers, it really did feel like a Tomb Raider video game. I gotta say, guys, I was pleased with this new Tomb Raider film. Coming from a guy who doesn't play video games at all, I gotta say, this film really surprised me. It was a lot of fun. It had interesting elements about it. it. Wasn't perfect, not flawless by any means, but out of the video game movie adaptations that have come out in years, this one's one of the best. Let's talk about Alicia Vikander. Now, when she was first cast as Lara Croft, I was pissed, to be completely honest with you guys. There was one actress I wanted to play Laura Croft, that's Daisy Ridley. Alicia Vikander, she's an Oscar winning actress in The Danish Girl. Like, this girl's got no muscle, how is she gonna play Laura Croft? Well, that shut me up. She is fantastic as Laura Croft. She kicks so much ass in this movie. I wanna see more Tomb Raider movies with Alicia Vikander as Laura Croft. She looks like Laura Croft. Seeing pictures of Laura Croft from the game, she looks exactly like her. She's really good in the action scenes, and she has great dramatic moments as well. While Alicia Vikander was great, let's talk about the action in general. It really was a lot of fun. It's really well choreographed and completely realistic. A lot of these action sequences, they're gut punching, and the, you kind of feel it a little bit. And I kind of felt that watching this movie. I was very pleased with the action sequences in this film. The cinematography is also very good. Once we get to the island in particular, and also a very well filmed boat sequence, it really did look very nice. Like the island all in general, just the green lands and the rocky mountains looked like it was straight out of that Tomb Raider video game, making it play out on the big screen. And I really like the way that this film looked. Me not being a fan of video games, I can see that the number one thing that people will walk out of this movie being is, if you're a fan of the Tomb Raider games, I think you will be pleased with this adaptation. A lot of elements are from straight out of the game from what I heard from my friends. It really did pay tribute to this game and franchise really well, and that there could be more sequels. And I think Tomb Raider fans are gonna go see this movie and I think they'll be very happy with what they see and not be disappointed. And that's what this film was trying to do. It's not a masterpiece by any means. There are problems with this movie. So let's just jump quickly to the negative section. When I saw the trailers for this movie, I was like, wow, the CG looks so noticeable. 
And it does in this film. A lot of sequences, watching it on the big screen, like that's definitely green screen. And it looked very obvious. I wish the CGI elements, the visual effects were a lot better than this. Like a plane sequence where she's hanging out of an airplane. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, come on, green screen. Also, the villain corporation in this film, once we finally get introduced, like Walton Goggins, Walton Goggins was really cool as the villain, but I would have wished to see a little bit more development on the corporation in general. Walton Goggins, his character is crazy in this movie, but there's no development on him whatsoever. The first act is really slow pace. We're trying to build up the moments. We're trying to get to the island. I honestly wasn't as invested with the story elements in the first act and with her father gone missing, I really didn't care that much. I was like, can we just go right to the island and start with the action and not just have some boring exposition? In the end, guys, this new Tomb Raider movie, it is fun. It is a solid video game entry. It's not great by any means, but if you want to have a fun time seeing a straight from the heart adaptation of the 2013 Tomb Raider film, I think you will enjoy this movie. But if you're looking for a video game masterpiece, this is not for you. I do recommend seeing this new Tomb Raider film, and I want to see more of them. On my rating scale, I'm going to give the 2018 Tomb Raider film a 3 out of 5 stars. It's really solid. Alright guys, that was my review of Tomb Raider. Have you guys seen this new Tomb Raider film? And what were your thoughts on it? Did you love it? think it was okay or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this review and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!